All right. So here we go. I wanted to talk about the gun system, the loot system, the leveling system. I have a video I made a, I don't know, maybe like a month ago. And it was about kind of the R the RBG, RPG mechanics, RBG. Mixing tech with video games. The RPG mechanics, I'll, I'll link it up here. Basically discussing the, how the class systems were being uh, organized and implemented and how they should be changed with how gear should work and I'll link it up there you check it out watch a little bit of it but I didn't really get into the weapons and how I want the weapons to work and I was thinking today how Ubisoft and the developers are missing out on golden opportunities to recreate the third person tactical shooter as we see it today They've basically implemented RPG systems that we see in MMOs like World of Warcraft, but obviously it's from their other titles. The Division, Assassin's Creed Odyssey, getting different type of loot, different type of colors, different type of attributes that make you stronger as you progress throughout the game and progress in a leveling system. So it made me think imagine right imagine a system that has a leveling system like what we're what we're seeing in breakpoint where we're getting gray items or normal items and then green items and then blue items and purple items etc whatever colors you want to use and i was thinking of this what if what if Ubisoft did things like making guns jam, making guns break, giving guns the ability to be modified or not modified dep depending on the like railing system that they that the guns have, right? So for instance, bear with me now because I'm trying to flesh this idea out. Let's say you're in the beginning of the game, you pick up a gray gun, you go into the gunsmith, right there. On the gunsmith or in the within the gunsmith, it says high probability of jamming, right? So you have this gray gun. It's, it's a you know that's that's the lowest of the low levels type of guns using this system that they wanted to to implement. Obviously, they baked it in from other titles, so they could probably do half the code work, right? Because the, these these components these 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 are already built out, which is why it's easy easy for them to to keep pushing out titles every couple of years. You just have to design the worlds. Um, you know, some new character animations, but the code base is there. But I digress. Let me stay on point here. So you have a gray gun. You can't modify it, right? So it's a beat up old AK. Can't modify, you can't throw anything on it. It's beat up and it has a high probability of jamming. So you have this gun. You're rolling out. You're getting in gunfights. Let's say the gun jams, doo -doo 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 -doo, boom, the, jump, the gun jams in the middle of the game. You duck back behind cover, you have to press the reload button, and your character runs through an animation. Boom. Hits it, on, on uh, takes out the magazine, you know, puts it back in, racks it again, and starts shooting. Da -da 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 -da, right? So that's, that's what you would build for these gray guns. They have a, a probability of jamming and an animation that comes with when the, when the gun jams. Right, so the gun jams, the code runs, you have to run through an animation, you have to press the reload button, boom, right? You're you're right, you're already on your way to implementing the system you want in a tactical shooter. Bear with me, I'm gonna keep going. So now you're rolling through, let's we'll use a, an AK for for this example. So now you're rolling through, you find another AK. Now it's green, right? Now it's a green AK. You pick you see this AK and you see uh Maybe on the attributes, or you got to pick it up, go into the gunsmith. I don't know. We'll say when you walk up to it, maybe the attributes pop up or, or, or it's green, whatever. Low probability of jamming. So now you know you have the gray AK. You find a new AK, it's green. You walk up to it, you pick it up. Or maybe before you pick it up, it's programmed to where it just says, you know, low probability or it's green or just, you know, low probability of jamming, whatever. So now you say, oh, this AK is better. The one I have is beat up. It's old. It's maybe, you know, it's messed up. It keeps jamming on me. It's dirty, whatever. Get rid of it. You pick up a new one. 
this one has a low probability of jamming so now you're in you're in firefights everything is cool all right keep it moving you keep progressing obviously you, you there are going to be different guns but we'll just use the ak as 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 an example or whatever you pick up a, a an, an m4 blue gun whatever it's irrelevant the point is is now you have the green one low probability of jamming right you pick up a scope the scope doesn't fit on it for whatever reason i don't know i'm just i'm just thinking out loud here and with you guys you have a, a you find a, a a blue one. Oh, it's a, bl a blue AK. What's the what's the difference of, of the blue AK to the green one? The blue AK has a different rail system that allows for modifications. It allows you to put on a, a, a red dot sight. It allows you to put on a new iron sight. Whatever, right? So now you oh I got the blue AK. So now I can mod this. Um, and maybe it's uh, it only allows for like generic modifications modifications that you find out in the world because you know as a ghost recon game you find this scope you find this magazine or whatever you get to the purple now right now we have a purple ak up oh, that's it we're leveling we're going through the game we got a blue ak we're, mo we're modding it cool now i find a purple one what does the purple one allow the purple one allows uh crafted modifications and attachments and this kind of this kind of leads into the crafting system which seems to be wishy-washy i don't know um why they decided to make a crafting system where you're picking up flowers but you the entire crafting system should be based upon the narrative of the game which is you're on a roa it's huge high tech everything you go everything you go and take should be some type of high tech gadget so you infiltrate this base and you steal this component you go over to the the big the big monolith drones or whatever they're called uh and, and you destroy it and you you get gear or maybe you hack it you ha you hack it you shut it down you run into it you run over to it you uh you know you press square or, or whatever is uh, they have it programmed and you take parts from it and those would be different parts than if you destroyed it meaning you know there's just so many ways to have to have a gathering system within a game and and that gathering system should be you can make different type of scopes magazines whatever maybe maybe there are uh places in the game that you go to and you build uh, a reputation with scientists just like uh you know how in red dead redemption if you go the dishonorable route you get different cutscenes endings if you go the honorable route you get different cutscenes endings do that if i'm walking around this plays into one of the videos where i said i wanted to kill scientists let me have that opportunity because maybe if you give me the opportunity to kill civilians i won't be able to get the best uh gadgets in the game because i have to gather things go to a location build up a reputation and have this scientist build something for me like that would be in my opinion that would be dope because now i have one of the best guns i'm mod I'm, I'm modifying it with gadgets from things that i gathered with an honor system that uh i got good at so i could befriend the scientists that can make me these gadgets i don't know like like Things like this is how you progress and how you, you reinvent the third person tactical shooter. Now, imagine what I said about the gray gun jamming, the green gun not jamming, the blue gun allowing uh, basic modifications, the purple gun allowing um, uh, crafted modifications. Imagine that system is in place and then you just delete all the colors. You know what you just created? You just created a, 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 a brand new gathering slash crafting system for the players in an RPG way that they won't even recognize. Because then they'll pick up a gun and it won't be a gray AK. It'll just be an AK that says high probability of jamming. Like, oh, this AK can jam? And maybe, and you have it programmed once in every 5,000 bullets, it jams. I don't know. You know, that's, that's an arbitrary number. That doesn't matter. The point is when you keep exploring and now you come up upon an m4 that says low probability of jamming you might say to yourself oh you know what i want this m4 and in the system you have now ubisoft that m4 would be a higher level it would be stronger it, you know it would be a, a gun you want people to, to take now 
But in this system, it's the same thing without the visuals, without people seeing it, and within a system that makes more sense for a game like Ghost Recon. I mean, imagine that. This gun jams. You're, you're going throughout the game. Yo, this gun I have is trash. Every once in a while, it jams on me. I almost got killed or I got killed. I need a new gun. You find a new gun. This one doesn't jam. But why can't I put modifications on it? You know, <clears throat> I can't mod this gun. The iron sight doesn't fit. This is broken. You know, there's so many different ways to do it. There's so, And this stuff, kind of stuff can be programmed. It's not like you can't program it. It's that Ubisoft doesn't want to put in the work because they... They're, the umbrella of the stuff they create is picked for all their games. So if it makes sense for RPG open worlds, they're going to implement it in all their games, regardless if it makes sense for that specific game. They just want it to kind of fit. But it doesn't. It doesn't fit for Ghost Recon. It would be much better if you had it where this gun jams, this gun doesn't jam, this gun allows basic modifications, this gun allows crafted modifications. The crafting comes from uh infiltrating bases stealing this side missions could be go steal go steal this component so it could help you build this scope but you can't build that scope unless you 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 uh work on your honor system how do you work on your honor system you save scientists you help construction workers you help this guy you help that guy you you can build these systems within a game because we've seen an honor system done in something like red dead redemption where you know, you go bad, you get these cutscenes, you go good, you get these cutscenes. In Ghost Recon, it could be you go bad, you might not be able to, to befriend this certain type of scientists in this land, in this area, that could build things for you. For all you guys who played World of Warcraft out there, you know what I'm talking about because it was Dark, I think it was Dark Iron Ore. It's been a while since I played. If I mess up, correct me in the comments if you played WoW. You would, you would gather dark iron ore in Black Rock Mountain in Molten Core. And you could only smelt it in, in BRD near the, uh, what was the, was it Barion? Barris? I forget the, the boss's name. It was, he was a fire elemental. And he sat near, um, what is it called? A, uh, whatever a blacksmith, an anvil. He sat near like a big anvil. And... You could only smelt it in that area. And this is exactly what I'm talking about. You should only be able to get certain components and build it with certain scientists with certain honor. And you that you've just built now the crafting system that you that that is in this game, you've just made it 10 times better. The the tiered loot RPG system that's in the game, you just made it 10 times better. How? By making it about how the guns act how they function and how they can be modded don't just give me an ak that's green and then uh 10 levels level 10 levels later the same ak that's green except a higher level that people don't enjoy that your entire ghost recon community does not enjoy that but you said f them we're going to implement these systems because they're already built we already have them built for the division and and assassin's creed odyssey and if we want to release another Ghost Recon in two years to get that money and to, to help that quarter, that's what we're going to do. And you know what? On the business side of things, I completely agree. I know a lot of the times it's the business people that make the decisions and it's not necessarily the creative directors and the programmers and the designers that have full say into the games they want to build. But I would think Ubisoft makes enough money to do something like what Rockstar does to build a, a game out that takes five, six, seven years that truly transforms how gaming works. I mean, Rockstar basically transformed gaming with their open world games back in the day. And you have a, a, an opportunity to do the same thing here, but you're kind of just, you're just mixing and matching components and systems that work in other games just to get it to fly in this game and put out a product. And I think Breakpoint could be 10 times better if they would have done something like the rpg system with the classes i'll, I'll link it up here uh, uh, again i'm not going to link it again i linked it earlier just that the rpg system with how gear works and how gear either makes you louder or or or, or quieter more stealthy uh more tankier slower faster the ability to be more agile less agile like that should all come with gear 
let us pick how we want our gear and then that'll be kind of the class we move into and then now with the guns same thing let us let us see a gun that sucks because it might jam more well in metal gear solid 5 is the way they worked with suppressors right everybody knows that suppressors last longer than that but that was their way to balance and if you don't know what i'm talking about in metal gear solid 5 after you shot the suppressor 10 you know maybe uh, maybe one or two magazines after you shot your 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 gun the suppressor would be destroyed and now you have to go loud and that was their way to counterbalance you staying stealth the entire time or having to call in um uh, a supply drop to refill your suppressor like things like that is how you should think about your design in, uh, 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 applications or, or how, how you should apply these design principles you should think okay if we have a gray gun let it jam the next gun up it'll have a low probability of jamming the next gun up uh it can be modified but only modified with basic components the next gun up can be modified with crafted components maybe because that gun has the ability to be taken to a certain location in the game and you can go to a certain npc who you can trade or you can have him hook up your weapon so your your uh you have the opportunity to put on these crafted um parts onto your gun just thinking how much better this game could have been designed if you just would have thought a little bit more about these systems and how you want to implement them and a little bit less about pushing a game forward for a quarter that is probably irrelevant because your games make money anyway i mean this this has real uh implications of where your game might go in the future the the splinter cell community is distraught right now they're devastated they haven't gotten a splinter cell game since what 2012 2013 we know that franchise has been completely destroyed and why because you kind of deviated from what splinter cell was trying to implement systems that were they were basic it's not what the community wanted and so the community turned against the game. It didn't sell well. Blacklist didn't sell well. And you guys turned around and you said, whatever. I guess we're not making any more Splinter Cells. And now Ghost Recon looks like it's just taking Splinter Cell mechanics and introducing it. In, in, so you could kind of have the best of both worlds. Which it is what it is. I still think uh, Ghost Recon is going to be uh, 10 times a better stealth game than any previous uh, Ghost Recon Breakpoint. Is going to be a better stealth game than any previous Ghost Recon game because of the way they implemented the animations and the the uh the um stealth attacks are awesome but you guys still fell flat when it came to this rpg system this tiered loot system the 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 forums are still littered with people who are pissed off they are not just upset and i'm trying to keep my my the language clean but these pe people are pissed man the community is angry they're upset and it's the way you implemented these systems now i want you guys to let me know because it's one thing to you know really design a system it's another thing to sit here and kind of spout off at the mouth about you know what you think uh, uh could be better or would be better what do you think about what i just discussed guys on how Take a gray, green, blue, and purple gun, one having the ability to maybe jam, a high rate of jamming, gray. The next one, a lower rate of jamming, blue. The next one, the ability to mod, purple. The next one, the ability to mod crafted items via a system where you, you're, you're building honor with scientists on the island so you can go to them with resources you gather from missions and say, here, I have this purple gun I need you to mod this gun in a certain way so I can put on, uh, you know, special modifications that I'm bringing to you to create for me. If I played a system like that, the gathering was this mission, steal this part, this machine part, this mission. And they, we're on a row, which is just filled with scientists and machines. So you would think that makes sense. That, that would be the gathering system. I don't want to gather plants, bro. Make the side missions or part of the main missions to get materials so when i finally get a gun that doesn't jam that has the ability to be modded i can have an honor system that lets me 
build up relationships with certain NPCs on this island that will modify my gun, make me certain um types of uh um attachments that I could put on the gun, and that's how you build your RPG system, your tier system. Then when that's in place, you just remove the colors. And you let people, people aren't dumb. They're going to know, oh, this gun jams, but this gun allows modifications. Hmm, which one's better? You get rid of the one that jams, which you would get rid of normally in the game. So this is what I was thinking about uh, today. And I said, you know what? Let me put down a video. Let me make it. Let, let me try to fully like flesh out this idea because it's not like anything's going to get changed for Breakpoint. Guys, Breakpoint is the way it is. But as a community, and I'm very, very, very vocal about this, as a community, whether you're on the forums, whether you have a YouTube channel, whether, whether you're investing time into uh, writing on the forums about this game, making videos about the game, trying to make it better, you're not going to change things now. But two years ago, when we all said, hey, can we take our backpacks off? Hey, can we um, breach through a gate? Hey, hey, um, Ubisoft, we want to do a few things here. Can we can this happen? It took them a brand new game to get it done, but there were some things that they implemented that we wanted two years ago with Wildlands. Taking off your backpack, you can do breaching through um fences. We know we we know you can do that. These are things people have wanted forever. Uh, you know, I'm getting past what the original point of this video, it's going on way too long. What do you guys think about that system? The gathering system where you gather things, the honor system where you should be building relationships on this island. You know, they already have the the partial RPG to where it's like, you might as well build these systems out because then it, it, it's way more immersive. The game is way more immersive. And um, anyway, guys, so that's all. I basically, I've gotten, I got everything across that I wanted to talk about between the uh, the tiered loot and how I would manage it and how I would have created it and the systems I would have built for that, like the gun jamming with an animation where you know you got to rack it, maybe unclip it and uh, clip it back, uh, clip the magazine back in, and then rack it again, and uh, you know whatever. It's just, it's just as I'm walking around the the technical test, and I did get in for the second one. Shout out to um, what's his name? I, I don't remember his name. Some kid on the on the forums. On the Ghost Recon Breakpoint forums, he had another PC invite and he gave one to me. Shout out to him. And um, but yeah, just going through it again, I'm like, these systems could have been so much better. It could have been so much better. Let me let me end the video now because now I'm just just talking ish. I'm gonna have to maybe edit this. So anyway, guys, let me know what you think. Let me know your ideas. What what are some things you would do? with the tiered loot system how would you implement it and i'm not talking about just removing it because we do want games to evolve this is another thing too you guys have to remember and we could talk about something like socom like socom one great two great three okay combine the salt like it got to a point where socom started selling less and less why because there really was no innovation in those first socom socom 2 to me was the pinnacle of socom development socom 3 was fun SOCOM combined assault, whatever. And then I stopped playing SOCOM. I played Confrontation. It was a totally different game from the ground up, and I stopped. I, obviously, I, I played 4 too, but by that time, the it wasn't the same game. It was totally different. They, they totally recreated the game itself, not just systems. And, you know, Ubisoft is, is walking a fine line here with what they're doing with Ghost Recon. It's... It's really, really different, and I hope it doesn't backfire in their in their face because I want to see this game succeed. I Ghost Recon has filled the void of what SOCOM left. I've been looking for a tactical third-person shooter to fill that void of what I missed for so long with what I felt SOCOM back in the days. And Ghost War doesn't really do it for me. Not in Wildlands, didn't really do it for me. But the PVE did. It really filled that void. And I think Breakpoint is going to do it as well. I just don't want to see these games disappear. Because I've said this in another video. 
after a while, the only thing that'll be left are action adventure games like Tomb Raider. And they're, they're, those games are good, but they're not. They don't they don't fill that void we need of the tactical shooter market. And, you know, there's things like Armor Three and stuff like that. But you know, I want to see these games evolve in a way that makes sense for companies to innovate. And I just feel like Ubisoft missed the mark with the innovation this time around with the taking of these systems from their other franchises and implementing it in a Ghost Recon fashion. I just don't think it works. That's why I laid out this, this my ideas in this video, which is going on like probably 20 minutes now. So let me, uh, oh my God, 27 minutes. I've been talking for a half hour. Nobody is going to watch this. People are going to watch the first four minutes and, and stop. Anyway, if you watch this for a half hour, get a life. And <laughs> nah, I love you guys, man. You know that. Um, let me know uh, what you uh, feel in the comments. Uh, explain your ideas, how you would work a, a, a tiered system with weapons. What do you think about the honor system and building honor on the island? I know it's been done, but it's just it's an idea I have for you know some type of reputation so you can do things on the island. And yeah, let me know your ideas about everything that I mentioned in this video. And thanks for watching, guys. Um, and that's it, man. I'll talk to you guys later. All right. Peace.